Hey folks, let's learn how to use the Gaki Soul Core. So let's get started with the special effects. As you can see, there are two of them. The first one is Anima Charge in the Dark Realm, and the maximum stat at Soul Core rank 30 is 11.3%. Next, we have Life Drain Yokai Ability Hit, which at max rank 30 goes up to A. Let's talk about the Yokai Ability Chomp. Summons a Gaki who will set about making a meal of your enemies. Foes who are bitten will release Amrita. This costs three anima and four attunement costs, so it's otherwise a very low cost, low use soul core. And here's the animation for your reference. So let's talk the response time. You summon the Gaki, that's how soon you can attack. It's really, really, really quick. Um, this doesn't defer that much on enemies, so it stays there and you can attack pretty quickly. But you need to pay attention for the following. When you use the Gaki Soul Core, you cannot use other Soul Cores for some time, so you gotta plan around it. One thing you gotta know when it comes to the Gaki Soul Core is that it does not give you grab immunity whatsoever, so bear that in mind. When you throw it out, you are committing to it. So let's talk shop about some synergies with your gear first. So if you have Life Recovery Amrita Absorption, which I totally recommend you get anyway, it works really well with Gaki because it generates a ton of Amrita naturally. So get it on your chest, get this on your accessories or even on your clans. And you'll have a lot of fun basically turning Gaki into a pseudo elixir. But of course, the fun is not gonna stop there when it comes to synergies. So if you use the Guardian Spirits Shirohami, for example, which imbues your yokai abilities with poison, then Gaki, using the imbue poison effect, will naturally inflict a reasonable amount of poison. Same thing with Itokuri. You can imbue paralysis on yokai abilities and basically turn Gaki as another way to inflict that status ailment. So let me show cases in action. Now, if you pay attention to Gaki, the poison buildup isn't necessarily the best, but you can rectify this by having enough accumulation or just using Gaki multiple times. Same thing with Itokuri. So if you stack enough paralysis accumulation, Gaki can potentially paralyze targets or just use it twice. It is super awesome. In my opinion, the best way to make use of Gaki is the following. So first and foremost, because Gaki does not have the best tracking and can miss, it's best to use it when you have a little bit of distance or when you know an opponent is gonna stay in a certain animation. You don't want them dodging away in your Gaki whiffing whatsoever. Also be warned, while Gaki is in effect, you can't use Soul Cores as I've stated, so plan to use a lot of melee attacks to fill in the gaps. Let me showcase this in real time. As you may know with Shuten Doji, when you are able to grapple him, he will perform multiple hair twirls to get you off of him. So what am I going to do? Use this opportunity to throw out a Gaki safely, and then go into the action once again. 